The WTBA World Championships come to a close with the team event and the bronze medals were awarded yesterday. The top seeded Korean men's team runs into a tough semifinal match. They would end up with a bronze medal in the team event, as does Denmark. The Danes took an early lead against the United States, but couldn't quite hold on. On the women's side, it's Venezuela picking up a bronze, led by doubles medalists Karen and Alicia Marcano. While Malaysia gets their first medal with a bronze of their own. And that leaves the top two women's teams of the tournament battling it out for gold as the United States takes on Korea. It had been an up and down week for the defending champion American women, and in the final match, they couldn't seem to string the strikes together. Korea, meanwhile, got rolling and never looked back. Firing off an 11.59 team game to claim gold by more than 150 pins. We cut a lot of bad breaks, and I think it just mentally played with our mind all week long. Um, we just executed. We just wanted to give ourselves a chance. We put ourselves in the position to win. And uh, Korea came out striking, and we came out with a couple bad shots and some bad breaks, and it was hard to catch up. We worked so hard to get to this point. It wasn't looking so good after day one. And we put our heads down, and we worked hard, and, and we did what we had to do in order to put ourselves in a position to win the gold. Um, obviously, it didn't turn out the way we wanted it to, but we still got ourselves there. So that would probably be the biggest thing that I and I would hope my teammates would take out of that. For the Koreans, it's a return to the team medals. They won gold in 2009, but missed out on the medals entirely in 2011. So this one means a lot to a country with a proud bowling tradition. She, she, uh, already steady, hardworking, hard training to bowling, but this, this, is, uh, this result is the more good to the motif. Future, more, more hard, hard training. And, yeah. Yun Hee Son is joined on the podium by So Yun Ru, Na Young Lee, Moon Jung Kim, and Da Win Jung. The defending champs on the men's side are also from the United States and would bowl in the title match yet again. Yeah, Taking on a tough team from Finland who knocked off the top seeded Koreans to get here. Yeah. There were a lot of strikes flying around from both sides, but in the end, the Finns had more of them. 1183 to 1126, a high-scoring affair that would end with Finland taking gold. The team of Pertu Yusila, Tony Ranta, Petteri Salonen, Passi Utila, and Osku Palerma are world champions. Really special because uh, actually, probably you don't know, exactly 30 years ago, the world championships were played in Caracas. And th that's the last time Finland won the team event, and my dad was on the team. So that really makes it like a dream come true. For the Americans, it's a tough pill to swallow as both the defending champion men and women come up just short and settle for silver. But still plenty to be proud of after a long couple of weeks. There was a lot of things that happened this week. And in the team event, you know, we, we came down and we had a choice uh, as the higher seed to choose the short or the medium. Uh, the medium was their pattern, their best pattern by far, uh, but it was ours too. And we just felt like if we put our five best up against theirs, that uh, that we'd be okay. And uh, you know, they pulled a great, a great game at a great time. And uh, so it was, you know, that's the way it was meant to be. We we were very successful this week. We got more than our share of medals and such. But you know, you're always asking for that coveted gold medal in a team event. So we will be back. The Masters Finals also took place on Friday with a Korean husband and wife both taking gold. Yun Hee Son adding to her impressive medal collection while Young Seon Cho does the same on the men's side. Yeah. I'm Matt Lawson for Bowl TV in Henderson, Nevada.